okay in this video i'm going to talk to talk about a link server okay now the best way to learn anything is to learn it by example okay rather than by actually talk okay so let's start firstly let me make you understand what link server is link server is something actually if you want if you have a data on some other server and you want to actually query that data okay you use a link server connection to do that thing your data may base can be on the other sql server or the it can be a microsoft database or any other server like oracle or something else okay now let's go and actually create a link server because i do not have another server right now connected to my computer so i'm going to just show it to you on the local itself but the same principle works on the link server as well okay so here is one way of doing it go to the server objects under your sql server as you can see i have gone to the server objects go to the link server okay and then right click and select new new link server okay now i have the database on a c colon drive on c drive okay the thing is that wherever your database is you will specify that part there otherwise it will not pick it up i will just show it to you how it is done and then you can actually try it with the microsoft access or sql server itself if you have a sql another sql server on a other box well and good that's much better okay there we are it is asking me to for the name of the link server i can give any name whatever i want depending upon what the i want to name it as let's say microsoft access north wind okay and it will ask to i will go and select the jet engine jet provider for this thing for my microsoft i'm not because i'm not going to select the sql server so i'm going to actually use the microsoft jet 4 or ldb provider which is product name i'm going to say access data source data source is the where the your access database is located i am going to type the path here db okay and let's go to the other options since we provide a string need not be needed here this also need not be needed actually right now here and server options because okay now this is collation compatible means whether actually if you know the the collation is same for the database on that other computer then actually you can select it true if you don't know it's whether leave it as false okay and if there should be only one collection on the other server you should remember that thing for this thing if you want to go in more details and read it you can actually click the help and it will actually give you the details of it database access true okay rpc is remote procedure call usually it is false if i can if i want to make a rpc rpc out is that the other server is actually other server is actually asking for the remote procedure okay user remote collection and then collection name and connection time out query time out distributors all these things are actually listed in the help okay you can just go and see it here okay you should read it once at least to find it out okay and click okay okay as you can see i have already created a connection okay the link this thing actually i have created the same connection with the north wind area it is exactly the same thing but i will show you the details of the catalog there we are okay this is the microsoft access database it is the same thing the up there i already created once before this is again i have created for you 
okay this is how the link server is actually now the Microsoft database actually I can query this thing from the Microsoft what you call access database using the link server okay now suppose if I go and select the table right clicking it with the employees I can skip the table as select to new query editor window there it has generated the script for the select statement and I can actually I can run this thing see that the database actually here is it is up is master okay okay so this doesn't matter and I see the referencing here all is referencing it is using the link name with a triple dot okay actually if you use it with a single dot it is a current database if you use it with a double database it is a second some other database in the SQL server not the current database and if you use a triple dot okay then it means you are referencing the link server okay just remember this thing this is very important okay let's go and run this SQL query started executing it and there we are as you can see I've already accessed the data from the database itself and there we are actually having the records we are querying the link server using a link server okay now so far so good I have already explained to you how to do it now suppose if you wanted to do it with a transact SQL okay how do you do it with the transact SQL okay just hold on and I will just show it to you how to how do we do it with the transact SQL okay here it is another example the same thing we are doing it with the transact SQL you could use this name also but both are the same both are the same links I actually have already created it and just for the demo purpose I have created the SQL also for you I actually I will just run it and show it to you what happens when I run the SQL there it is it has executed the SQL select for not when www oh sorry dot 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 okay the link it to the link server to the employees table okay now suppose if I use this this SQL command okay using an open row set which is always used in the whenever you are using a link server okay you always use the open red row set function here it is let's see what happens now it says it has failed okay completely no error with the syntax of the SQL command but what it says is SQL server blocked statement open rows data source of the component ad hoc distributed queries because the component is turned off okay as a part of the security conf configuration of the server a system administrator can enable the use of the ad hoc query a distributed query by using the SP configure for more information about enabling the ad hoc distributed query see the surface area config in the SQL server book online now this is very beautiful you know the reason it has been actually disabled is that once actually this is enabled any person who has a SQL server connection actually can go and actually query the the database and do whatever if he, he feels like okay that's why it is actually has been disabled so remember that thing read the online manual okay I will, I will show you how to do it actually enable it directly from the SQL Server Management Studio if you try to find it online it will be very difficult for you to be able to find out okay now actually let's go to the link server click the click it on the right hand side select the faucet okay once you select the faucet okay you will see there are a lot of options to be enabled and disabled but actually what I want to go for is the server options config okay server config okay the, now let's go and actually change that the correct 
option for the actually enabling the ad hoc query there it is ad hoc remote query enabled it said said to be false okay i have to set it to the true remember to always to set it to false back if you are not using it otherwise it may create a problem and then i'm going to select the okay okay now let's go and execute this sql and see what happens Uh, sorry about it. The that's the incorrect SQL. This is the right SQL. Okay, let's go run and this SQL and see it. Okay, and there we are. Actually, when I ran the SQL command, okay, the admin part is missing from here. Okay, that's why it's not running. Okay, otherwise it is quite okay. Okay, and this is I have selected the customer customer ID from Open Road. Okay, and this is the database name and this is the table name. Okay, this is how the open set command actually is given. Okay, let's go and run one one more actually SQL command and see it. Okay, now suppose if I wanted to add a, another SQL server which had a name the SQL server that with the name eleven HR, I could actually actually use the SP add link server with this thing and it should be actually I should be able to add the it to the linked. Okay, and then I can query using SP eleven the server name, the database name, and then the whatever it is okay this is the schema name and then the table name the same way i can do it to the if i had, I had a, another box with the access database actually i wanted to query actually i would have linked it to the sp linked server access db that is the name of the server actually where the database is okay and i would have used the path name to correctly to link it and a driver name and all those things and then i can always query it with the select the v and etc and this is done okay now i am going to show you i am going to use the northwind database from the sql server and with a join to the northwind database that is actually from coming from the access link server that is coming from the access one okay the both the database okay can be joined one is from the sql server and one is from the access here is the query just see the query how it is so it says select sc sc and from the northwind dbo orders and this thing and then the other one says inner join open row set okay the northwind mdb okay the first one is coming from the sql server the next one is coming from the access database okay and the uh, here it is the query that is saying customer and we are going to actually connecting it from the customer from the access database and this is how we are going to get it connected okay Ex customer from the access database from the northwind okay here i'm going to run this sql and we are going to end the this thing with this after running this thing okay there you can see that query has been executed perfectly no problems at all Okay, this is how you query the using the link server. That's all. I would like to finish it here. Now that you understood how the link servers are connected using the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and as well as the using the Transact SQL. Okay, thank you very much for watching.